Um, hold on. To all you churn who is about to have a new daddy. A new daddy mean that your mama got a new boyfriend or a new hub or something like that right there. And when you get a man in your life, and typically y'all not used to men's in your life because um, your single mama have been her single mama. She has been the mama and the daddy for you since you were born. And now she decide um, she's going to change her life. She want a man now. And now she got a man and stuff. And you're not used to taking orders from like a man, right? You're not used to taking orders from a man. This can get you hurt. When you're not used to taking orders from a man and you big on up, you boss up, shit like that. You ain't my daddy type shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> don't, don't need much worry about complying. This can happen to you. Go Let's ahead. get to some developing news right now in Charles County. Tonight, a man is in custody after deputies say he shot and killed his 15-year-old stepson. Mm -hmm. This right here is 48-year-old Darshan Williams. Darshan don't play. Investigators tell us he shot the boy simply because he refused to do household chores. He says simply as if that's petty. Bitch, I gave you an order in my household. That ain't petty. Now, this all happened just after midnight at a home in La Plata, and our Leslie Moreno has some new details for us. Mm -hmm. Tonight, the Charles County Sheriff's Office says a 15-year-old is dead and his stepfather is behind bars. Mm. She's also advising that her and her, her son and her husband were arguing. She left and when she came back, she saw him laying on the floor. Officials say 40... Oh, whoa. She's advising that her son and her husband was arguing. She left and came back. So she left her 15-year-old son to argue with his new daddy. She left and when she came back, she saw him laying on the floor. Officials say 48-year-old Darshan Williams shot and killed his 15-year-old stepson, Michael Clemens, after he refused to rake the leaves. We have He's playing by leaves. He should have lost your life by leaves. have some preliminary information that suggests that the stepfather shot the victim because the victim didn't complete the chores as he was requested to do. Official I almost said as he should. You know what I had to think about. It. I had to catch myself. We'll say police found the teen unresponsive inside their home in the 6400 block of Hunt Road just after midnight. Neighbors tell us the teen and his mom had just moved in after the couple married. The teen and his mom moved in, so moved into his house. Think, look, look, look. These are targets. So he has land. I knew that he had some land because I see wood. So he cut wood for the wind and shit like that because he got a chimney. Road just after Watch midnight. This. Neighbors look all they got them look all they got them wood. So but look at all this wood here. Wood right here because he probably cut right here. All this wood out here. That means that that man works in his yard. He works at his crib. And he got a little big ass truck. And it's an up to date. So a scene he probably got like a good little job or something like that. He done married your mammy and uh move y'all in. Tell us the teen and his mom had just moved in after the couple married. It's unclear how many times or where the teen was shot. He was unconscious and not breathing. Um, the officers and medics performed CPR, but the victim was pronounced deceased on the scene. Yep, that's that. You ain't my daddy. Pow, pow. Williams is being charged with second degree. And he got, damn it, that might be her BMW. I believe that that's his Chevy. Murder and first degree assault. He's currently being held at the Charles County Detention Center. Second degree murder, she said. Second degree murder. Williams is being charged with second degree murder and first degree assault. He's currently being held at the Charles County Detention Center. You say, why does somebody need all of that wood? Um, is this in like Milwaukee or something like that? Wherever they at, it's snow. It's snowing to get real, real cold. See, you keep your you keep your wood stocked up for a very, very like like. You keep as much wood as possible, especially when you own a home and he has land. So he's not only using wood in my mind to heat, but he also using wood to cook. He probably got a big old grill and he using wood to cook. It's good to have a lot of dog on wood. I promise you it's real, real good, especially if you got a chimney. In Charles County, Leslie Moreno, WUSA 9. Did just learn Williams will be in court tomorrow morning for a bond hearing, and you can count on us to let you know what happens. I appreciate that right there, man. So as soon as y'all give me that, then I'm going to go ahead and get my people that. Um, yeah, hold on, hold on. Charges, documents, shit, like, whoa, wait, so that was 21. Hell, hold on. 
Staying in Charles County for this next story tonight, there are heartbreaking new details in the case of a man accused of shooting and killing his own stepson. Oh, so this is in Virginia and stuff like that right there, right? It's right up in here. Maryland, Virginia, like D.C. area and stuff like that right there. Oh, it's cold up there. It's cold. You say they outside of, of D.C. They got a fireplace too. Yep. Shooting and killing his own stepson. 49-year-old Darshawn Williams appeared before a judge earlier this morning. Mm. Investigators say he killed the teen during a fight about raking leaves. Yeah. Our Leslie Moreno explains what investigators revealed in court today. Okay. Dershawn Williams will remain in custody without bond. A Charles County judge ruled Williams is a danger to the community and potentially to himself. A danger to the community and to himself, but he was fine before that 15-year-old moved in with his mama. Tonight, disturbing details revealed in new court documents. The Charles County Sheriff's Office says Williams shot and killed his stepson, Michael Clemens, after an argument over not raking leaves. Charging documents reveal that Williams and his wife had been arguing earlier that evening about Clemens's behavior on their way home from dinner. The boy's mother left the house to avoid further conflict. Minutes later, Williams called her and said, your son is dead. She rushed home and called 911. When officers arrived, they found Clemens on the kitchen floor with a gunshot wound to his upper body. They was arguing. She left. She she didn't want to argue. Got on the phone, call her. <laughs> your little son dead. Yo, your son dead. Not our son. Your son dead, though. She's also advising her and her, her son and her husband were arguing. She left and when she came back, she saw him laying on the board. Investigators say Clemens would have turned 16 next week. He Security cameras in the home may have captured the shooting. Detectives are still reviewing that footage. Authorities also recovered multiple guns from the home. Prosecutors are disputing claims of self-defense as Williams faces charges of second-degree murder, first-degree assault, and other related offenses. Over a dozen of Williams's family and friends, including his mother, were here in court today. The teen's family was not present. Williams is expected back in court on December 17th for his preliminary hearing in Charles County. Les Moreno. Can you say that, Dick? Can you say that again, sister? Did you say that all of his family was up there? Over a dozen of Williams's family and friends, oh. including his mother, were here <laughs> in court today. The teens Over a dozen. I want y'all to really think about this right here now. Over a dozen friends and family, including his old girl. Mama made it on up there. A dozen friends and family showed up in support of him. And the judge said that he may be a threat to himself. But the teenager, nobody showed up. His family was not present. Williams None of his family. For today, the teen's family was not present. So nobody wanted to see what the man, what the man was going to get who shot they kinfolk. Guess who else wasn't in there? His mama. His mama did not come to court to see what her husband was going to get for killing her son. Boy, you can't make this shit up. Listen, hey, I, I, I sugar, hey, I, it is what it is. It is what it is. His mama ain't show up. In my mind, her son been a problem. Her son been a problem. And hell, that's probably why she seeked out to get a man. But let me explain something to a whole bunch of y'all babies. Once y'all cheering hit like that teenage years and like you single, just stay single. You only got about three, four more years before they 18 and they out the house or something like that right there. Once they hit teenage years, a new man can't tell them nothing. And a lot of y'all got some women. Hey, a new woman can't tell them nothing but uh, like if she want to hunt, you know what I'm saying? If she trying to do something like that right there, then that's good. Mm-hmm. You say, what? does this make his mama a loser? Yes. She ain't even sure for her baby. She ain't sure for the one who she love. And hell, she ain't sure for her husband either. Maybe she was trying to get her son knocked out and her husband locked up. Now, I wonder if the husband got like some, got like a pension or something or got some real, real paper. I hit, well, hell, the husband ain't dead. So, that, no. but will she get to keep the house? 
don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Sound like a setup to me. <laughs> Move right along. I ain't going to be much hope. Now, listen, this is one of these other reasons why I have to tell the young players out here, but he was an old player. He was an old player. So even to the old players, y'all stop dating these single mamas. But if y'all going to date the single mamas, date the single mamas who key is grown. Date the single mamas who kids grown. Stop dating the single mamas who kids still kids. <laughs> Moving right along. I ain't going to be much older.